the extreme progressive left has been melting down over billionaire Elon Musk's $44 billion takeover of social media company Twitter, which uh, the Twitter board has accepted, sparking the censorship queen of Twitter, the head of legal at the company, to break down in tears. The same woman, of course, who greenlighted banning Trump from the platform and The New York Post's coverage of the Hunter Biden laptop story, while Elizabeth Warren has called Musk's ownership dangerous to democracy. President Trump's social media company so far seems to be benefiting, uh, topping the free app store all week as it transitioned onto the Rumble cloud and boasted that they will not rely on big tech to survive and are, quote, not cancelable. That is what my next guest told me last week, and he joins me once again, and that is former California congressman and now the uh, CEO of Truth Social, Devin Nunes. He joins me right now to talk more about this. Thanks very much for being here, Devin. What is your take on what went on this week? Congrats on being top of the App Store, uh, even as Elon Musk takes over Twitter and is expected to make big changes there. Well, thank you, Marie. It's been a great week, as you said in the opening, started being on the Rumble cloud. This is something that the big tech tyrants, and now we actually know the government with their new disinformation service, never wanted to happen. Our goal, and President Trump's goal, was to give the American people their voice back. And that's what we've done. And there's no big tech tyrant that can take us down. And so that's why I think it's so Orwellian, so dystopian, uh, something that you only see in dictatorships that now they're going to set up some type of disinformation board. I mean, I think that's a direct attack on what we are doing at True Social, uh, because we can no longer be canceled. So now what do they have left to do? We're going to protect our users from this new phony government disinformation service. And the fact that they would use some derated TikTok star that is the queen of disinformation herself on the Russia hoax and the laptop from hell to head this up is really the height of hypocrisy that's so, that's so unbelievable. I, I who <laughs> I've spent so much time in Washington, I don't think I've ever seen something so ridiculous. But the good thing is, is we are going to protect our users on our platform. They're not going to be canceled and they're not going to be censored for political speech. So, mm -hmm. uh, you know, I know they may want to do it and they're going to use the Department of Homeland Security to do it, but, but we're not going to tolerate it. Well, they can make life difficult for you, right? They've made life difficult for Elon Musk already. They want to haul him into Congress so that they could question yeah. him about this Twitter acquisition. Uh, they could uh, get in your way as well. Do you feel, you, I mean, you're a private company now, but do you have everything yeah. in place in terms of what you need to have in terms of uh, 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 regulatory approval? Yeah, well, I would love to see them uh, bring me back into Congress. I would love to go up here before the Senate and talk about this. Uh, my guess is that they're probably not going to bring me there uh, because, you know, they don't want to hear what's at, hear the truth. I mean, I would love to lay out for the Congress how they, the left, have colluded with the media, have colluded with these tech tyrants, and now they're throwing a fit because they know that we have a beachhead. Uh, we're having guys like Elon Musk step up and say, look, we're going to go ahead and we're going to look to take take uh, Twitter off the table here and try to turn them into it back into a free free speech platform. You know, what we're doing now is we're moving ahead. We're, we're, we're going to ignore the government. We're not going to be regulated. But what we're going to focus on is where are the eyeballs? And I think what should be a concern to most Americans is that a lot of young people are going to TikTok. We have a lot of people on Instagram and Facebook. We're going to be that safe home for people. So we're focusing right now on what can we do next. Clearly, our most important thing is we're on the App Store. We were number one most of, most of the week. Uh, we continue to be on the top charts. And what we're focusing on now is at, by the end of May, we want to try to be on, on all the platforms so you can get it from anywhere. And then after that, we hopefully will be on the Google Play Store for Android. So we're focusing on the things that we can focus on, and that is to improve our user experience and be a safe place for everybody to come where they feel where they feel safe, where they're not going to be canceled by yep. tech tyrants, number one. And number two, we're not going to give in to any disinformation czar that the Biden administration tries to put in place. Yeah, you had big news this week when President Trump uh, actually started posting on Truth Social. He yeah. is now on Truth Social. Uh, let me get your take on on the Twitter acquisition by Elon Musk. How does that play out in terms of a com competition 
uh, to Truth Social uh, because you see Elon Musk saying a lot of the same things. You've made the point that Truth Social is not going to look like Twitter. You want to be bigger and perhaps take market share from things like Instagram as well. Yeah, I mean, I think that's kind of what, what Twitter really is, is, is a PR, global PR wire. What we're doing at Truth is we're building a community where people are not going to be censored for political speech, where people can bring their videos, they can bring their pictures. We've, we've partnered with Rumble on the Rumble Cloud. So this is going to be, we're, going to, we're trying to give the features that in the marketplace that are on Instagram and on Facebook and on TikTok because that's where the users are. Mm. That's where the eyeballs are. That, that's okay. where the market is. And the advantage we have yeah. is we're not going to cancel anyone. All right, real quick, Devin, before you go, you were the one who blew wide open the lies of the Russia collusion hoax. I know over the years you kept coming up with new information, uh, and then you had your Nunes uh, report out documenting what had taken place, that it was made up by the Hillary Clinton campaign. We know that Michael Sussman has trial uh, in about two weeks. What are you expecting from John Durham, and what are your thoughts about what we've learned so far from John Durham's investigation? into the Russia collusion lie. Well, what, what we saw this week as Sussman, the Clinton campaign, the DNC all try to fight uh, having to disclose evidence and having to disclose information, they're going to court and fighting. Well, this has given the opportunity for Durham, because he's had to fight these objections, to actually place direct evidence on the record. Now, as, as people well know, we built a circumstantial case using circumstantial evidence. Like we knew, for example, that the, the DNC, the media, Fusion GPS, they were all coordinating, building a narrative and laying it out there for the American people. But we never actually had the emails. And now there are hundreds of emails that show what we knew five years ago was that the fake news media was in cahoots with the left in this country and the Clinton campaign to try to defeat Donald Trump by framing him maligning him, and not just him, but many, many others that got tied up into, into this, like guys like Carter Page. And so it's good to see that the fruits of, 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 of all our work that we did over the last five years that resulted in criminal referrals are now being, we're starting to see evidence being, and it being put down as these indictments yeah. roll out. So I would like to see more indictments, uh, but it is, a, it, it really, I mean, look, it should be alarming to people that the media is willing to just take stuff from these mm. paid assassins. But it's the, it's the world that we live in, and maybe it, the more that American people know about this, uh, the better off we all will be moving into the future to try to make reforms in right. these government agencies. All right, Devin, we'll be watching Truth Social, Thanks, and we appreciate your time this morning. Devin Nunes joining us. Thank you, sir. Thanks. We appreciate it.